The RMS Titanic is more than a shipwreck, it's a legend, a story that has captured the imagination of generations. Its tale is woven into the fabric of history, echoing through time as a powerful reminder of both human achievement and vulnerability. The Titanic stands as a symbol of human ambition and tragedy, representing the heights of technological innovation and the depths of unforeseen disaster. When it set sail, it was hailed as the largest, most luxurious ship ever built, a floating palace promising safety and grandeur. For over a century its name has conjured images of opulence, hope, and ultimately, heartbreak. The Titanic story is one of contrasts, the excitement of a new era, and the sobering reality of nature's might. Its sinking became a turning point, changing maritime laws and safety forever. Now the Titanic lies nearly two and a half miles beneath the North Atlantic, preserved in darkness as a somber monument to those who perished. The cold silent depths have kept its secrets for decades, making it a haunting site of remembrance and reflection. Its maiden voyage in April 1912 was meant to be a triumph, but it ended in catastrophe. More than 1,500 lives were lost in the icy waters, and the world was left in shock. The disaster inspired countless books, films, and investigations, fueling endless fascination and debate. The discovery of the wreck in 1985 only deepened the mystery. Explorers and scientists have since ventured into the abyss, using advanced technology to uncover new details and raise new questions about what really happened that fateful night. Each artifact recovered, a shoe, a satchel, a doll, serves as a poignant link to the passengers and crew, making the tragedy deeply personal. These relics tell stories of dreams, hopes, and lives interrupted, reminding us of the human cost behind the legend. The Titanic story is still evolving. As the wreck slowly changes, new forms of life have made it their home, transforming the site into an underwater ecosystem. Scientists continue to study how the ship and its surroundings are being reshaped by time and nature. The legacy of the Titanic endures, reminding us that even in the ocean's darkest corners, history and life intertwine. Its story continues to inspire awe, reflection and a deep respect for the mysteries of the sea. In 1998, French diver Paul Henry Nargelet detected a mysterious sonar blip near the Titanic's debris field. The anomaly was massive, sparking theories of another shipwreck or even a lost U-boat. For 26 years the blip remained an unsolved riddle, hidden at nearly 3,000 meters deep. Extreme pressure, freezing temperatures and the cost of deep-sea missions kept it out of reach. As technology advanced, curiosity grew. What was this object so close to the Titanic? Each new expedition brought hope of finally solving the mystery. When the answer came, it was more astonishing than anyone expected. The truth emerged during a recent Ocean Gate expedition, with Nargile himself aboard. The submersible's lights revealed not a shipwreck but a sprawling, vibrant, deep-sea coral reef. The blip was a volcanic outcrop teeming with life, a hidden ecosystem thriving in total darkness. This discovery was a profound shift, from a story of loss to one of biological wonder. The reef, provisionally named the Nargile Fanning Ridge, honors the spirit of exploration. It's a reminder that the ocean still holds breathtaking secrets, even beside the world's most famous shipwreck. The find transformed a maritime mystery into a scientific breakthrough. In the shadow of tragedy, the deep sea revealed a sanctuary of life. The Nargiolette Fanning Ridge lies shrouded in perpetual darkness, a world where sunlight never penetrates. Here, the only illumination comes from the mesmerizing glow of bioluminescent creatures casting an ethereal light across the seafloor. This mysterious environment feels almost alien, yet it teems with life uniquely adapted to the crushing pressure and frigid temperatures of the deep. At nearly 3,000 meters below the ocean's surface this volcanic formation rises from the otherwise barren abyssal plain, creating a rocky oasis. The ridge's jagged peaks and crevices provide shelter and structure, making it a rare haven for deep-sea organisms in an otherwise desolate landscape. Recent expeditions have revealed a dense tapestry of life clinging to the rocks. Sponges, bamboo corals, and other invertebrates form intricate colonies, each species playing a vital role in the ecosystem. Cold water corals thrive here, their delicate branches stretching into the current, perfectly adapted to survive in the extreme cold and darkness. These corals grow slowly, building the foundation for a vibrant community over centuries. Fish and squat lobsters weave through the coral branches, seeking food and shelter. 
Their movements help circulate nutrients, supporting a complex self-sustaining ecosystem that depends on every member to survive. Unlike shallow reefs, life here relies not on sunlight but on marine snow, a constant rain of organic particles drifting down from the surface. This nutrient-rich material sustains the entire food web, from the smallest microbes to the largest predators. The astonishing biodiversity of the Nargiolette Fanning Ridge challenges our assumptions about where life can flourish. Even in the harshest conditions, nature finds a way, creating vibrant communities in the most unexpected places. Its recent discovery offers scientists a rare opportunity to study a pristine deep-sea habitat, untouched by human activity. By exploring these hidden ecosystems, researchers hope to unlock secrets about evolution, adaptation, and the resilience of life. The Nargiolette Fanning Ridge stands as a powerful reminder that the deep ocean is not a barren wasteland, but a dynamic, vital realm, one that remains largely unexplored and full of surprises. Protecting these hidden worlds is crucial, not only for preserving their fragile beauty, but also for understanding the health and future of our entire planet. Before we dive in, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing discoveries. For 73 years, the Titanic's location was a mystery, captivating explorers and treasure hunters. In 1985, Dr. Robert Ballard's team found the wreck, capturing haunting images that reignited global fascination. Ballard's expedition set the standard for respectful, non-intrusive research at the site. Filmmaker James Cameron later made over 30 dives, pioneering new filming techniques and revealing the ship's ghostly interior. His work blurred the lines between exploration, science, and storytelling, bringing the Titanic's story to millions. These early missions transformed the wreck from legend to tangible reality. They paved the way for scientific studies and new discoveries like the Nargillette Fanning Ridge. The Titanic's exploration continues to inspire and inform our understanding of the deep sea. The Titanic, once a marvel of human engineering, now lies at the bottom of the Atlantic as a thriving ecosystem. Over a century after its tragic sinking, the ship's steel hull has become a foundation for life, transformed by the relentless work of unique bacteria. These microscopic organisms have colonized the wreck, turning cold metal into a living, ever-changing landscape beneath the waves. Rusticles, strange, icicle-like formations, hang from the ship's surfaces. They are not just mineral deposits but living communities of microbes that metabolize the iron in the titanic steel. These rusticles grow, change, and even die, constantly reshaping the ship's appearance. Their presence is a testament to the adaptability of life, even in the harsh, dark environment of the deep sea. The bacteria responsible for this transformation may have arrived with the ship itself, clinging to its surfaces as it sank. Now they consume hundreds of pounds of iron every day, breaking down the Titanic piece by piece. This process is slow but relentless, and it's estimated that the ship loses several tons of metal each year to these tiny but powerful organisms. Over time, the wreck has become an artificial reef, attracting a wide variety of marine life. Fish, crabs, and other invertebrates now find shelter among the twisted beams and rusted decks. The Titanic, once a symbol of human ambition, now supports a unique community of deep-sea creatures, many of which are specially adapted to this unusual habitat. Rusticles not only provide food and shelter for these animals, but also create intricate, ever-shifting habitats. However, their growth accelerates the ship's decay, as they break down the metal and weaken the structure. This delicate balance between creation and destruction is at the heart of the Titanic's ongoing transformation. Documenting this process is a challenge for scientists and filmmakers alike. Rusticles absorb red light, making it difficult to capture their true colors and details on camera. Special lighting and advanced underwater technology are required to reveal the hidden beauty and complexity of the wreck. As the years pass, scientists debate how long the Titanic will endure. Some sections have already collapsed under the weight of time and decay, while other parts of the hull remain surprisingly intact. The ship's fate is uncertain but its story continues to unfold on the ocean floor. For researchers, the Titanic is more than a relic, it's a living laboratory. By studying its slow disintegration, scientists gain valuable insights into how man-made structures break down in the deep sea and how life adapts to these changing environments. Each expedition uncovers new details about the interplay between decay and survival. 
The Titanic's transformation is a race against time, a dramatic story of loss and renewal. As the ship slowly disappears, it reveals the powerful forces of nature at work and the remarkable ability of life to flourish in even the most unlikely places. New technology has revolutionized how we see the Titanic. Advanced mapping and photogrammetry have created a full 3D digital model of the wreck and debris field. This digital twin allows researchers to explore every detail, track decay, and study the site non-intrusively. The model provides a baseline for future comparisons, revealing changes over time. Mapping the debris field offers a holistic view, showing how currents and biology interact with the wreck. These tools turn the site into a virtual laboratory, accessible worldwide. The same technology enabled the discovery of the Nargiolet Fanning Ridge. Digital mapping is charting not just the Titanic, but the broader, mysterious abyss. The Titanic story, once thought complete, has surprised us again. The discovery of a thriving reef nearby reminds us how little we know about the deep ocean. For every secret revealed, countless more remain hidden. The Nargillette Fanning Ridge challenges us to keep exploring, as the deep sea holds keys to medicine, evolution, and our planet's history. Each new dive adds a page to Earth's unfinished story. Technology now lets us monitor and protect these fragile environments. The Titanic's legacy urges us to be better stewards of the underwater world. The next great discovery may be just a sonar blip away, waiting in the silent, beautiful abyss.